this video is about replacing uh, the Teleflex helm pump seal on uh, a, a Teleflex hydraulic steer steering system on your boat. Many boats are equipped with the Teleflex hydraulic steering components. A common problem is leakage of the hydraulic fluid from the helm pump. This usually occurs from the main front shaft seal. Typically, the leak occurs at the bottom of the front shaft seal. The fluid will flow from, the, from this point down the forward surface of the helm pump back to the base and onto the console. From there, the fluid will flow to the deck, eventually showing up at the base of the console. To replace the seal, the steering wheel must be removed. A small set screw holds the plastic or wood center hub cover in place. Loosen the set screw and remove the hub cover to reveal the, re the retaining nut beneath, beneath it. <coughs> Next, remove the retaining nut. Pull the steering wheel from the shaft using the gear puller, as shown. If you don't have a puller, you can try wood wedges beneath the hub. With wood wedges under the hub, tap the shaft with some soft metal and a hammer, being careful not to clean over the top of the shaft. After the wheel has been removed, you will see the front shaft seal cover plate. This is a circular plate which is retained by three Phillips head screws. Remove the plate. If the helm pump is full of fluid, there typically will be some fluid retained behind the cover plate. If the helm, helm pump has been leaking for a long time, the fluid level may be probably down to the point where the shaft leak is above the fluid level. That is, the fluid has already leaked out of via this path. Have a rag ready to wipe up any fluid that comes out. After the shaft seal cover plate is removed, the front shaft seal will be visible. At this point, you can assess the diameter of the shaft and seal. There are two versions of this pump in common use on most boats. A three-quarter inch diameter shaft and the other has a one inch diameter shaft. The easiest way to tell which seal you need is to just measure the old one. You can do this while it is still in place as a difference of of a quarter inch in diameter should be readily apparent or after removal. Caref carefully remove the old seal from its seat. A safety pin makes a good tool for picking this, the seal from the seat on the shaft. Poke to pick into the seal between the inner and outer surface on the exposed face and gently lift from its seat on the shaft. Be careful not to scratch or damage the shaft or facing of the pump or the seal seat. The seal is, is not an O-ring, but rather a quad ring. There are two surfaces on both the outer and inner diameter which form a seal. At the end of the D DVD, I will show a listing on eBay where I sell the seals. Two of the three-quarter and two of the one inch for $4.75 with free shipping or you can email me directly. After removing the old seal, clean any dirt from the seat around the shaft and install a new seal. Replace the seal cover plate. Reinstall the steering wheel. Refill the helm pump with fluid to the proper level. Do not overfill. If you are using a side mounted cylinder, the fill level must be set when the ram is retracted when the wheel is turned hard to left. This is because of the azimutallic nature of the ram. It has an unequal volume of fluid. If you fill the hemp pump on a cold day, allow for some expansion of the fluid on hotter days. If your helm pump is mounted on an upward angle, typically the proper level for the fuel is about one quarter inch below the bottom of the filler. If the hail pump is mounted perfectly level, the proper level is about the bottom of the filler.